Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, coming to you once again from the YouTube space in Tokyo. This is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. We're rolling out Developer Preview 3 with the final Android O APIs, the latest system images, and an update to Android Studio to help you get ready for the consumer release later in the summer. If you've already enrolled your device in the Android Beta program, you'll receive an update to Developer Preview 3 shortly. To make your app compatible with Android O and enhance it with Android O features and APIs, check out the post. Developer Preview 1 of the Play Billing Library is now available. This library aims to simplify the development process when you want to make money through your app without having to deal with all the different types of payment methods. For the intro video and a link to the code lab, head on over to the post. ReCAPTCHA is now available as an Android API as part of Google Play services. It uses our newest invisible ReCAPTCHA technology, which runs risk analysis behind the scenes and has enabled millions of human users to pass through with zero click every day. Head on over to the post to learn more about how to integrate the ReCAPTCHA Android API. Blockly is our open source library for creating block-based coding experiences, and we're now finalizing the 1.0 release of Blockly on Android and iOS. These versions have everything you need to use Blockly natively in your mobile app. To get started, a video and all the links are on the post. The latest set of improvements to the Firebase Dynamic Links are now available in our iOS and Android SDKs. They enable you to create user-to-user -user sharing campaigns programmatically from within your app, and a rebuilt Android API makes it easier to handle incoming dynamic links. Example code is on the post. You can now manage both your custom domains and SSL certificates using the new beta features of the Admin API and G Cloud command line tool. These new beta features provide improved management, including the ability to automate mapping domains and uploading SSL certificates. Example commands are on the post. Spinnaker 1.0 is now available. It's an open source multi-cloud continuous delivery platform used in production at companies like Netflix, Waze, Target, and Cloudera. There's also a new open source command line interface tool called Halyard that makes it easy to deploy Spinnaker itself. To learn what Spinnaker can do for your own software development processes, take a look at the post. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this week's episode of The Developer Show from Tokyo. <laughs> if you'd like to catch some of our previous episodes, they're right over here. <laughs>